UFC 221 this weekend coming from, is it Perth, Australia? It sure is. Um, obviously, the main event of this fell out was supposed to be Luke Rockhold versus uh, Robert Whittaker for the, the UFC middleweight title, which wasn't interim. But now it's going to be an interim title for Yoel Romero against Luke Rockhold. Uh, and it's made a vint in here. We've obviously we spoke about this card a couple of weeks ago when it when it fell apart and stuff. That that this isn't really a big pay per view card or anything like that. And, and we've talked all about that. So let's just talk about the fight itself. Romero against Rockhold. You have the hard nosed wrestler who's a big hitter. You have Luke Rockhold who's a very very good jiu jitsu jiu jitsu artist who likes to pick his shots, who's who takes his time. You know, will will dive on you when he needs to. Which which style do you think will win out? Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. I, I, I think I'd, I'd lean towards Luke Rockhold here. I think. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, I think so. I think um, it, it is a tough one though. I can, I can, I can, I can see, I can see it going a number of ways. Like I, I could, like Luke Rockhold. Like people say he has a dodgy chin, but I don't, I don't know if he does. Um, you know, he got hit with a massive kick by Vitor Belfort, and then he, he, he kind of made a, a bad mistake against Bisping and. Yeah, obviously got got finished there, but besides that, like I don't know, he his, his chin hasn't looked that bad to me. It's been a kind of running narrative that he hasn't got a chin, but maybe when you're looking for weaknesses and and somebody, maybe that maybe his chin isn't the best, but I don't think it's that big of a problem. Obviously, Yo Romero can hit hard, but he's but he's like he's. I, I just think I I just think Romero, you know, he he, he when he fought Whitaker, I think Whitaker, Whitaker kind of. Showed how you can beat him. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, he beat he beat Jackeray, but Jackeray it was a very close fight as well. And um, I can see this being a really close fight uh, as well. But uh, I, I could easily change my mind back to <laughs> or to El Romero before the before the fight because it's one of them where where it could go a number of ways. But I, I, I think I think I'd lean with Rocco, but. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. To do. I like I like when the main event is one is an is a an important fight that it's really hard to pick. Like it, sometimes it happens where you, you like the the main event one guy will be a huge favorite and it kind of everybody knows how it's going to go. But this one it could go a number of ways, which which is really good. And obviously it's a it's a it was meant to be Robert Whitaker, and this is a really good fight to. Obviously, everybody would prefer to see the Whitaker fight if he hadn't got the staff and all. But this is a really good fight you have to plug in. It's a fresh matchup, and it is two really top guys in the division. So, for as a replacement fight go, this is this is a brilliant replacement fight. I I think it's either going to be a brilliant fight, like you said, or an absolutely terrible fight because both of these guys like to wait. You know, they're not ones who come in and you know land those three or four shots, land big output coming in on the attack. You know, we were talking about Anders earlier in his previous fights. He did that, or you know, McGregor does it, or you know, loads of Ken Velasquez, loads of people do it coming coming in. These are both guys. Yoel Romero is a guy who literally has turn around knockout last minute or two of the fight loads of times he just waits for his opportunity and he hits Luke Rockhold is a guy who kind of paws on the outside throws a, a, a lovely uh, a lovely right hook throws big head kicks and stuff but doesn't have the biggest output in the world you know both guys very you know Jorn Mira is a top top wrestler obviously I think he was, what is he an Olympic silver medalist brilliant wrestler and throws Big shots, big knees, big head kicks because his wrestling can can help him. Uh, to obviously stay on his feet or get up off of his back. You know he's been taken down a good few times in the UFC. I believe uh, even even though he has very good wrestling, and Luke Rockhold has good wrestling as well. Obviously very good jujitsu. So, like I think I I really think this is going to be kind of a, you know like a horse race where nobody will, uh, nobody will lead away. You know we, there's no front runner, and I think it could be one of those where they're just waiting and waiting and waiting, and then someone will strike. Like I wouldn't be surprised if this was a fifth round knockout or something like that where you know it's it's 2-2 two, two, and then someone says fuck it I'm going to go and then he gets a knockout and I think that could be Yoel Romero to be honest uh, like Yoel the way the way he fights is a way that's going to get you tired because you know he he's he's very light in his feet he, look look at I always love to look at Yoel Romero's feet when he's fighting because he like he literally is almost standing on his tippy toes and everything he throws is from his toes whether it's a you know whether it's a, a kick to the legs kick to the body kick to the head or punches he, he springs into everything and that's why he's so hard to read you know we've seen him that Chris Weidman one especially is the one that always stands out to me but that that can get you very tired not only the, the springing all the time but also the springing with 
hit the, the strikes and you know just moving around like that on your toes is, is hard to do but i think if the fight plays out like i think it'll play out where both guys are waiting for each other maybe that cardio won't come into it as much as as it ha- did maybe in the the um, the Whitaker fight or maybe in other fights and he doesn't have as you know he doesn't have as much time to prepare for this either obviously Luke Rockhold was supposed to be fighting uh, fighting um Whitaker on this so that could be a factor as well but i think if if Yoel keeps his cardio up into the fourth and fifth i think he will win but if he doesn't i i'd fancy Rockhold yeah, I think uh, the Romero was was preparing to fight Branch uh, late or at the end of this month, so it's probably yeah, not. Know, so, yeah. You know, he's not coming in with with no camp behind him. But obviously, maybe ideally he he would have structured his camp differently if if, uh, if he knew up front that um, that he was going to be in this fight. So maybe that will play a little factor into it in a five round fight. But um, I don't I don't I don't think it'll be too bit too big of a factor. Uh, Romero is also f- uh, forty now as well. Like he, he's, there, it could be a point where he loses a step, but he's, he's he he doesn't see, like. There's been no signs of that so far. Even even though he lost to Whitaker in his last fight, I think that was more Whitaker just really showing how much he's improved and how good he is. I don't think it was a, a Romero slowing down or anything like that. So, um, yeah, this is just a really really good fight. Um, I'd lean with Rockhill, but um, I wouldn't be surprised with with a. As you, were, like you, as you were saying, if it was a fifth round knockout, I wouldn't be surprised. There's so many ways this could, this could go. Like it, it, it could be, it could be a, a knockout for either guy, or it could be a like. It'd be interesting to see where if it hits the ground. If if like Luke Rockhold looked very dominant with his with his uh, top control and stuff, it'd be interesting to see if you can do that to Romero, who's very strong and very explosive and a really really top level wrestler. Even though he doesn't use it maybe as much as uh, as much as. Um, you you think if you're looking at his credentials coming in, you might think he'd be more wrestle heavy than he is, but mm-hmm. he he can use it if he needs to. But maybe I'll be interested to see what hits the ground because because Rockhold has been so dominant. Um, even against Jacare, he, he held his own on the, on the ground when it, when it, when it hit the ground back and strike for So he's no mug on the ground. So I'm interested to see how this fight look looks everywhere really. And yeah, it, it it could be it, it could be a quick quick finish or it could be. Maybe it could be a boring five rounder. Who knows? But it's it's interesting because there's a there's no clear method of victory that's jumping off the page to me saying, "Oh, this is probably going to happen." I think. Mm-hmm.